back to the beginning of the session when you talked about uh, I am being a manifestation of the ego. And the closest you could get is to focus on I and I being the son of the mother. What if one rejects the mother? What do you have left to define yourself by? And what do you have to left to surrender to? Taking on an identity, a minimal identity, a slim identity, which is, let's say, in your case, Edward, son of your mother. This identity is that which is required in order to make the step into the surrender experience. So, why I say that the I am experience most of the time, and especially in this pop spiritual culture that I see growing around, and I have seen this, of course, with literally hundreds of, of people coming to the satsangs in, in places like uh, Thiruvannamalai, Rishikesh, but also in Europe, who have uh, trained in systems where they actually start to identify with Source, in the sense that I am Source. When the experience of Source is there, there is no I in it, because Source is just Source, it is. The very idea that you say, I am, is already an expression of ego. If Edward doesn't want to experience that slim identity as son of Rebecca, it can be grandson of what was your grandmother's name? Sophia. Okay, so it can be Edward, grandson of Sophia, or it doesn't even need to be that, it can just be Edward. But a slim identity is needed. What does he surrender to? He becomes aware of his center, of the source, or the truth, or the soul. That very I am story is put aside, and it's just Edward is in surrender to Source. I, Edward, experience, feel the Source. Just try it now, try it. Just, just, you can even close your eyes if you want, just take a moment. Say, this is Edward, and Edward is experiencing that, the Source, the Truth within, the Divine. the Antarguru, the master of my being. And I'm just there, feeling this presence, and I'm bending down, just in surrender, just in... bending down, bending down, bending, there, present. And this Edward is an instrument of that, so... an impulse will come, when something has to be done, the impulse will come and I go with it, I just do what has to be done from that Truth, I don't allow that ego lie to take over, to push through its desires and, you know, its insistings and yearnings and demandings and pushings, I just close in into this quiet, into the center, bend down and wait for the impulse and act from it, and again I act from it, and again I act from it, and now, and now, and now. And I don't have to be much more than Edward. I can just be Edward, that's fine. And that's the experience. Gradually, what happens, you will start to feel that there is actually something almost material there, that's like an, it's a material impulse, it's the impulse of the Soul. There's an impulse, it impulses the system into action. But because we have lost the ability to listen to it, because the ego has taken over, because society has socialized us into these big ego beings, covered with ego lies, we have forgotten, you know, 
because of all that noise, to listen to signal, to listen to the signal, the soul, its impulse. It's always impulsing in every moment, and one has to simply tune in and relearn the obedience to that impulse. And that is what this, this is about. So, Edward is enough. And after a while, you know what will happen? After a while, Edward will be able to embrace even the mother that he can't relate to anymore. Because he's so connected with the soul within, he's so in surrender to this master within, that he feels connected to that same soul material in the other. And that's how he starts to live. So the connections, the ability to embrace everyone is much stronger, it grows. I'm not saying that means you have to go and hug your mother and give her a kiss if you don't feel like it. It's more an internal experience of quiet and peace with her that will grow by the moment, by the minute. And even if the external does not you know, uh, make this huge big love declaration, the experience of deep love and connectedness with everyone, everyone, even the ones that you are battling, grows. And this practice is about surrender and the Self-Realization process, which is learning to deepen the surrender and the experience of Source, and becoming more and more the instrument of the impulse, the Truth impulse. Thank you. <laughs>